great stupa of the Baudanath is one of the largest and completely built important Buddhist monument in the world. The great stupa is refers to Jarong Kajo in Tibetan texts or scriptures. The splendid dome-like vase of Baudanath stupa is approximately 120 feet in diameter, built in one hectare in width and 43 meter in height. There are many history in different texts and origins. The Himalayan Buddhist text mentioned that a widow named Jazima aspired to build a great offering to Buddha using her hard-earned saving as a poultry keeper she approached the local king for permission and it was granted on her request on condition that she used an area of land measuring the size of a single buffalo skin however she cut the skin into thin strips and claimed that land big size this widow ambition to build a such a magnificent monument offering to Buddha caused much jealousy between the rich and powerful at the time. The jealous lords partitioned the king to have the stupa demolished. But the king who had allowed this permission replied, Since permission to build has been given, it shall not be rescinded. Thus, the meaning of the stupa named Jarung Kashor. The Jarung Kashor in Tibetan means spoken by mouth or given word by mouth. So, the name of the stupa is known Jarung Kashor. The Newar people call it Kasa or Kasti, Chaitya, the dew drop stupa. This is due to their own origin of history, legend of stupa. Outer circle of stupa with the prayer wheels. There are more than 600 prayer wheels. Devotees are doing circumambulance and reciting the prayers. There are four steps of Lotus Mandala. This signifies four immeasurable equanimity practice. There are 108 fine old stone carved scriptures of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. The dome-like shape is representing the Buddha's knowledge. In Tibetan word, the dome-like shape is known as Bumpa, Kalash in Sanskrit. Two eyes of Buddha signifies method and wisdom, ultimate truth and conventional truth. The nose or like equation mark signifies only one in truth, ultimate truth. Namsa hanging over the eyes represents five elements, earth, fire, air, water, and space. Chokuru <laughs> Chuksum. It looks like a step of the 13th path a bodhisattva practice towards enlightenment, our Buddhahood, our Nirvana in Sanskrit. Round shaped fabric panoply symbolizes the victory banner. Golden umbrella is for protection of stupa, also signifies complete victory of knowledge over ignorance. The summit of the stupa is known as Kajur is the symbol of Mount Meru, the king of the mountains. There are small stupas in four directions. 
to protect and bless pilgrims and devotees. This is incense burning place where devotees offer special herbs made incense to Buddha and Bodhisattvas. The two statues of king and queen riding white elephant. The white elephant represents the auspicious and goodness. The devotees doing prostration around in Tibetan it called Changchak. It's complete prostration. Some of the monks practicing four foundation of preliminary practice. Known as mandala offering, they do 100,000 times. These are pure water offering to stupa that represents pure devotion without attachment. There are thousands of pigeons that are feed by Buddhist devotees. The devotees and pilgrims buying white wash to make offering to paint stupa white. The paint is making with mix of pure water, white chalk, milk and fragrance. After mixing all these ingredients, workers will carry the white paint to the top of the stupa to spread or to paint the stupa white. After mixing all these ingredients, workers will carry the white paint to the top of the stupa to spread or to paint the stupa white. After white paint, next comes saffron painting with the design of lotus petal. The devotees offering saffron and special medicinal herbs to paint the stupa. The lotus petal design is symbol of offering to Buddha and Bodhisattvas. Lotus petal design is symbol of offering to Buddha and Bodhisattvas. Buddhist prayers flag in five colors represents five elements earth, air, water, fire, space. In each prayers flags are printed with profound mantra of different deities. The devotees are preparing prayer flags before hanging at the stupa. First, 
they will be consecrated and blessed and dedicated to purify all the obstacles and fulfill wishes of devotee. The workers will hang the prayer flags and special cloths affording to stupa to gain the wisdom and wishes. each morning to awake the all the devotees and start the puja ceremony. The giant prayer wheel inside the prayer wheel is full of mantra. There are 100 million mantras. This is Om Mani Padme Hum. Om is entire wisdom. Mani is jewel. Padme is lotus. Hum is this symbol of the heart of the deity. Those who turn prayer wheels or recite these mantras will gain good merit, peace, happiness and prosperity in this life and next life. The bottom line offering is to purify obscuration, ignorance and gain the wisdom and light. performing puja in front of the deity Jajima in special occasions. Gold peace prayer. Lamas and monks are participating to perform whole peace prayer. Monks are offering flowers, fruit and lamp, incense, lights and flower garland to the great stupa. This is Night View of Stupa at the Buddha Jayanti's festival. Lighted whole stupa with all kind of beautiful lights.
द फुल मून इन द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ ग्रेट स्तूप दिस इज अ फोटो ऑफ ग्रेट स्तूप फ्रॉम ड्यूरिंग रिनोवेशन बाय ग्रेट योगी तोगदिन शाक्षास श्री सन द इमेज ऑफ स्तूप ड्रॉइंग फ्रॉम 1858 द ग्रेट बौद्धनाथ स्तूप This is a painting image from 1895 of Great Stupa. This is another photo of Great Stupa during restoration from damage by thunderstorm. Thank you for your interest to know and see our short documentary about Great Stupa.